A computer so powerful, so efficient, that it could bring the dream of self-driving cars and walking robots into the real world. It was called Dojo. Born from Tesla's boldest vision, it was meant to stand apart from anything built before. Not just another machine, but a doorway into the future. In 2021, Elon Musk promised it would lead the way, shaping how intelligence itself could be trained. But now, that dream has vanished. The creators are gone. The project is over. And the reason behind its death is not what most people imagine. The birth of Dojo. Dojo first stepped into the spotlight during Tesla's AI Day in 2021. It was not presented as a small upgrade or a minor experiment, but as something completely new. Elon Musk stood on stage and spoke about building a supercomputer from the ground up, designed not for games, not for finance, but for teaching machines how to see, decide, and act. The vision was bold. Cars that could drive themselves without hesitation. Robots that could walk, work, and respond like people. To make that happen, Tesla needed a computer that could handle mountains of data without wasting energy. That's where Dojo came in. It was more than a piece of hardware. To Tesla, Dojo represented independence. No longer would they have to rely on outside companies to provide the tools for their most important project. They would own the entire stack, chips, boards, cabinets, and eventually the knowledge they produced. At that moment, Dojo became more than a machine. It became a promise, a symbol of Tesla's desire to shape the future on its terms, the architecture of a dream. At the heart of Dojo was a chip unlike any other. Tesla called it the D1. It was what engineers describe as a system on a chip. Everything packed tightly together onto a single piece of silicon. The processor, the memory, the graphics power, all compressed into one unit. It was small enough to hold in a hand, yet powerful enough to become the building block of something much larger. One chip alone wasn't enough. So Tesla placed 25 of them onto a single board. That board was called a tile. About the size of a dinner plate, a tile carried the strength of many tiny computers working in unison. Then those tiles could be stacked together into cabinets, each one adding to the system's total power. Piece by piece, the design grew into a supercomputer. It wasn't just the raw numbers that impressed people, but the elegance of the structure. Every element was created to fit into the next, like parts of a puzzle forming a grand picture. For a time, it seemed Tesla had built something truly ahead of its era. The quiet decline. But the energy that surrounded Dojo in its early days did not last. Behind the polished stage lights and big promises, the project began to lose momentum. The engineers, who had once been the heartbeat of the effort, started leaving. Some walked away quietly. Others were let go without warning. The most telling sign came when Ganesha, the man who had first held the D1 chip in his hand before the world, decided to leave Tesla. He had been the architect, the one who knew Dojo from the inside out. His departure created a gap that was difficult to fill. A new lead stepped in, but even that did not last. Soon, he too was gone, and each exit chipped away at the confidence that Dojo would ever reach the scale it had been meant for. What once felt like the future of Tesla now looked like a project fading into the background, unnoticed, until Elon himself would speak. Elon's final words. The end did not come with silence. It came with Elon Musk himself. On social media, he wrote a short post that closed the door on Dojo for good. His words were simple, almost casual, yet they carried the weight of a final judgment. He explained that Tesla's future chips, the ones called AI6, had made the Dojo design unnecessary. 
He called Dojo 2 an evolutionary dead end. To continue pouring effort into it, he said, would be a waste of time and people. For Elon, this was reason enough. There was no ceremony, no farewell speech, no final demonstration of what Dojo could have been. Just a blunt statement that the project was over. The dream that had once been the centerpiece of Tesla's AI day now belonged to the past. With those words, Dojo was buried. And Tesla's focus turned fully toward the chips that would live inside its cars, not the supercomputer it once promised. Inference versus training. To understand why Dojo lost its place, we need to look at the difference between training and inference. Training is the process of teaching an AI model. It's slow, heavy, and requires massive amounts of computing power. Inference is what happens afterward when that trained model is put to use. Inside Tesla's cars, inference is everything. The computer in the vehicle must see the road, recognize shapes, make choices, and act instantly. There's no time to send information to a data center and wait for an answer. The intelligence has to live inside the car itself. That's why Tesla's hardware chips matter so much. Hardware 3 was the first to prove the idea worked. Then came Hardware 4, sharper and more efficient. Hardware 5 is on the horizon, and Hardware 6 already sits on the roadmap. Each version brings faster response, better vision, and more safety. Unlike Dojo, these chips touch real life every day. Millions of cars rely on them, and for Tesla, that makes them far more valuable. NVIDIA's Shadow While Tesla tried to carve its path with Dojo, another giant was already standing tall. NVIDIA has become the backbone of artificial intelligence. Their chips were inside almost every major training system in the world. From chatbots to image generators, everything relied on NVIDIA's GPUs. Elon Musk never ignored this. Even while Dojo was being built, Tesla continued buying NVIDIA hardware. He became one of their largest customers. Between Tesla and his other company, XI, Musk ordered close to a million GPUs, with more still on the way. This was not done in secret. Elon spoke openly about it, calling Dojo an experiment, a gamble, a second option. If it succeeded, Tesla would have freedom. If it failed, NVIDIA would still supply what was needed. In the end, the safer choice proved right. NVIDIA's technology kept improving. Its supply chains recovered, and its value exploded. Dojo, once meant to challenge them, could not keep pace. And Tesla's future leaned back into the hands of the very company it once hoped to replace. The real reason it died. Back in 2021, the world looked very different. Supply chains were breaking down, chips were scarce everywhere, cars, phones, and even basic electronics were delayed because there simply weren't enough semiconductors. In that climate, Tesla's decision to build its training computer made sense. It was a hedge against uncertainty, a way to make sure the company wasn't left waiting for parts that might never arrive. But the crisis passed. NVIDIA recovered and grew stronger. Their GPUs became not just available, but essential. The industry standardized around them, and companies building their alternatives quickly realized how costly that battle would be. Dojo was born out of fear of shortage, not out of absolute necessity. Once that fear faded, the project lost its reason to exist. Tesla no longer needed a backup plan. They had a reliable supplier and access to the best chips in the world. In the end, Dojo didn't collapse from failure. It simply became redundant, a dream overtaken by practical reality. The spirit that survives. Even though Dojo itself has been shut down, pieces of it remain alive in other forms. Elon Musk suggested that the ideas behind Dojo could carry forward into Tesla's upcoming chips. 
He spoke about stacking large numbers of AI5 and AI6 processors onto single boards, forming clusters that echo the tile design once central to Dojo. It wouldn't be called the same name, and it wouldn't carry the same bold promise, but the influence is clear. The architecture, the way smaller units combine into something greater, still has value. It reduces complexity, lowers costs, and creates systems that are easier to scale. In this way, Dojo hasn't truly disappeared. Its body may be gone, but its spirit lingers in the next generation of Tesla's computing. A quiet inheritance woven into chips that will sit not in distant data centers, but inside cars on everyday roads. The dream continues, only in a form far less visible. Destiny AI. When Ganesha left Tesla, he carried more than memories with him. He took the idea of Dojo and set out to give it another life. His new company, Density AI, set its sights on building the full stack of artificial intelligence, chips, systems, and the software to bind it all together. Slowly, he pulled engineers away from Tesla, many of them the same people who had once shaped Dojo's core. In many ways, Density AI looks like a reflection of what Tesla's AI division could have become. The ambition is wide, the focus intense, and the goal is the same. To create computing systems designed for the hardest problems in automation and robotics. It feels like Dojo, rebuilt outside the shadow of Elon Musk. But while this new venture grows, Tesla's reality is different. Dojo was never the center of Tesla's progress. The true power behind its self-driving software has always been Cortex, a massive supercomputer filled with NVIDIA hardware. Tesla is already preparing Cortex-2, even larger, even faster, again built on NVIDIA's chips. Elon Musk has gone further still, ordering vast GPU clusters for his other company, XAI. These systems rank among the largest in the world, all running on NVIDIA's backbone. So Dojo lives on in two directions, reborn at Density AI and reimagined through Tesla's NVIDIA-driven machines. The original vision may be gone, but its influence spreads through those who refuse to let it die and through the silent work of the computers that replaced it. Dojo was once a symbol of limitless ambition. It carried the hope of a machine that could unlock a new world. But not every vision survives the test of time. Some fade quietly, leaving only fragments behind. Tesla no longer needs Dojo, yet the ideas it sparked remain, reshaped into new paths. The story is not about failure, but about change. Technology moves forward in unexpected ways, and sometimes even giants must let go of their creations. Dojo is gone, but the pursuit of intelligence continues, alive in the chips that drive Tesla's future.